Eu, papateu, they let go and we want to go home. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host. I hope all of you had a uh, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays and your holidays were happy. I hope that you, Santa brought you everything that you desired. And I also hope that you didn't spend too much time being depressed about whatever it is that depresses you. But that's not what I'm here for today, y'all. I just wanted to do some mental housekeeping, okay? I'm here because today is actually the first day of Kwanzaa. Yeah, first day of Kwanzaa. So let's go through this. The seven principles. Everybody know that Kwanzaa is a time for learning, family, and celebration. During the week of Kwanzaa, families and communities come together to share a feast, to honor ancestors, to affirm the bonds between us, and to celebrate the African and the African American culture. Each day, they light a candle, just like um, in the window, you can see. Okay, each day, they light a candle to highlight a principle of that day and to breathe meaning into the principles with various activities, such as reciting the sayings or writings of great black thinkers and writers, reciting original poetry, African drumming, and sharing a meal of African diaspora-inspired food. The table is decorated with the essential symbols of Kwanzaa, such as Kanara. In the window, you can see my Kanara. Uh, on this fifth day of Hanukkah. Uh, anyway, the Kanara, the, that's the candle holder, you guys. The Makika, that's the mat. The Muhindi, the corn to represent the children. Mazeo, fruit to represent the harvest. And Zawadi, and that is the gifts. One might also see the colors as Pan African, of the Pan African flag, which is red, the struggle, black, the people, and green, the future. Represented throughout the space and in the clothing worn by all the participants. Well, most at least. The colors were first proclaimed to be the colors for all people of the African diaspora. And it was uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 infused by Marcus Garvey. Yes, yes, yes. On each day of Kwanzaa, you light a candle for that day of principle. And on your candle holder... That's what you do. So you lighten a, a candle on your canara, okay? One for each day. And of course, you have, we use what, three black candles, um, uh, three red candles, three black, three red, and one green candle, okay? Now, please remember. You know, that this is a seven-day process. So each day, just like in Hanukkah, you are going to light one candle for each particular day. So, the, the, the principle for the first day of Kwanzaa oops, is unity. Okay? Unity is your moja, okay, to strive for and maintain unity in the family, the community, the nation, and the race. Um, you know, you can have a, a song for reflection, um, you know, and then how about a thought for the day? Okay, 
So, the principle again for today is emoji. Now, today's children activity, if you are doing Kwanzaa with your children, Um, since we realize that it is the principle of coming together, you know, you can draw a picture of the meal you enjoy. Make it an eating with the people that you love. This is for the kids now. If y'all need something to do, okay? Talk about what unity means to the kids. Whoever's there. Talk about what unity means to you and why unity is important. Sing, come together with John Legend and Sesame Street friends. Okay? Uh, it's very important that you understand that Habari Ghani, which is Swahili, um, you keep that principle of unity. Okay? In your spirit. Draw a picture of a meal. Let the kids draw. Let them make a meal. And you just chill out and watch it. Let them go to work. The thing about it is you want to create an environment um, that's totally different than what you celebrated <laughs> yesterday. Right? And you're going to take these seven days and really think of something very weighty and something that that really means something that maybe your family can um, do from from here on out. And then they can share it with their children and then their children and then their children. So you want to talk about what unity means. And that is something that's so important, especially in a fragmented community that we have now. It's very important that they even understand the concept of what unity means. And then sing Come Together with John Legend. And the Sesame Street Friends. Okay, and you'll find that on YouTube. So, Umoja is the principle for today. Y'all be blessed. And we'll do the next principle tomorrow. Bye-bye.